Dear students, welcome to our science episodes. Today we are going to discuss main groups in the periodic table. Today we are going to talk about halogens. What are halogens? They are located on the right side of the modern periodic table, just before the noble gases. Remember that the noble gases are in the group zero, or we call it sometimes 18. The halogens are just before the noble gases. They are elements of group 7a in the P block. Their physical state is graduated from gas to liquid to solid. This means that some of them are gases, some of them are liquids, and some of them are solids. For example, fluorine and chlorine are gases, bromine is liquid, and iodine is solid. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity, not like metals, if you remember. Do you know the corrector pen? You use it to erase what you have written. Inside the corrector pen, there is chlorine. It's highly volatile. When dries, it leaves a white substance on the paper. Chemical properties of halogen. They are monovalent. Because they have seven electrons in their outermost energy level, they tend to gain only one electron during chemical reaction and turn into a negative ion with one negative charge only. And they exist in the form of diatomic molecules formed of two atoms. Let's see this two chlorine atoms. If we will count, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you will count the electrons in the outermost shell, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When it will react with another chlorine atom, it will gain one electron. So the total electrons in the outermost shell become... 8 instead of 7 and they will turn into a negative ion because the electrons will be more than the protons inside the nucleus. They form a diatomic molecules, so a molecule formed of two atoms of the same kind. They are active elements, therefore they do not exist in nature in an elementary state, but they are found combined with another elements, forming chemical compounds, except astatin, the last one, which is made artificially. So this means that fluorine does not exist as a single atom. It exists in a diatomic molecules. Chlorine, the same. Bromine, the same. Iodine, the same. And Astatin the same, but this astatin is not naturally found. It is artificially made. So let's think together why they are called halogens. The word halogen means forming salts because they react with metals forming salts. So for example, if we have potassium, potassium is a metal and bromine is a halogen. When they will be act together, they will form potassium bromide. Sodium also can react with chlorine, forming sodium chloride, which is the table salt. Each element replaces the element below it in its salt solution. This means that if I will take the potassium bromide and put it with chlorine, the potassium will take the chlorine and form potassium chloride and bromine will be alone. This is a salt solution. This means that the chlorine replaced the bromine in its salt solution. Again, if we will take the bromine plus potassium iodide, it will form potassium bromide 
plus iodine. This means that the bromine replaced the iodine in its salt solution. Properties of elements and their uses. Now let's talk about some elements, their properties, and their uses. Sodium, for example. What do you think about sodium? Sodium is a metal. It's a good conductor of heat and electricity, of course. So it is used inside nuclear reactors to obtain vapor energy required to generate electricity. So it's power supply in nuclear reactors. Remember, sodium is a metal. It's a good conductor of heat and electricity in liquid state. Silicon. Of course, silicon is used in computers manufacturing. Why? It's a semiconductor where its conductivity depends on the temperature. Did you hear before about liquid nitrogen? It is used in preservation of the cornea. What is cornea? Cornea is the transparent part in front of the colored part of the eye, which is the iris. Cornea is used to collect all the light rays and transfer it to inside the eye. The liquid nitrogen is used to preserve this cornea for further transplant into another patient. Liquid nitrogen is used in the preservation of the cornea because it has a low boiling point. It reaches minus 196 degree Celsius. Look at this apparatus or this device. It contains cobalt 60. It's a radioactive element used in food preservation. It produces gamma rays, which prevent reproduction of microbial cells without an effect on humans. And usually cobalt 60 is used to preserve meat. Now it's time for questions. Complete the following equation. 2 potassium plus bromine. Yes, it will give potassium bromide. What with potassium iodide will give potassium bromide and leave the iodine alone? The bromine. We said before that the bromine will replace the iodine in its salt solution. This is too easy. Sodium plus chlorine will give sodium chloride or table salt. Why are silicon chips used in computers? Yes, because it is a semiconductor. Its conductivity depends on the temperature. Dear students, thank you for watching. See you later in other science episodes. Thank <laughs> you.